Chairman, I'm compelled to raise an issue about a committee field hearing scheduled for April 22nd, 2016 in Phoenix, Arizona concerning EPA's failing government-to-government -to -government relationship with Indian tribes. The April 22nd oversight hearing has a particular focus on the Gold King mine spill that devastated farmers and families on the Navajo reservation in August. And believe me, this was devastating, and there is no doubt about the responsibility that rests with the EPA. So therefore, uh, we had requested, as part of the hearing you had, Mr. Chairman, that the EPA send a witness so that we can talk about the reclamation and healing of the native lands, the Navajo lands that were absolutely devastated by this toxic spill. Three million gallons of toxic wastewater, three million gallons were unleashed on the Navajo reservation. So uh, it's my understanding that the EPA has decided not to send a representative to this field hearing. EPA's response is unacceptable. It's a violation of our obligation to protect the interests of Native Americans and their tribes. And EPA must be present at this hearing. I respectfully request that the committee issue a subpoena for EPA Administrator Gina McCarthy to appear at the field hearing schedule for April 22nd, 2016 in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, Senator McCain, you are correct. Uh, the EPA has declined to send anyone to the field hearing. The field hearing you referred to was requested by you on behalf of the Navajo Nation as a top priority of this committee. Uh, this is not a partisan issue. It is a Native American issue. And I will work with you and others on this committee to issue a subpoena for Administrator Gina McCarthy to appear. She is the one in charge of the EPA. The Senate has confirmed her nomination with the understanding that the EPA would be responsive to Congress. And this is not being uh, responsive. So thank you, Senator McCain. Would you like any other comments with regard to the bill that is uh, yours that we'll be discussing today? Uh, no, Mr. Chairman, I'd just like to point out again, this toxic spill of three million gallons of toxic wastewater, if this had happened, I have to be very blunt, as I've <laughs> been known to do so, suppose this had happened on a non-Indian area, that the, the, the representatives would, would have been up in arms, this is a national scandal. Instead, well, not only have they not been, as the issue been resolved, that the devastation is still there, but the EPA, who that has no, is not challenged the fact that it was EPA that caused the spill, doesn't even want to send a representative to a hearing that needs to be held on behalf of these Navajo families who, whose lands and livelihood and lives have been devastated? Is that, is, is that what the EPA is all about? I hope not. So I, I would urge the support of all members of the committee on behalf of the Navajo Nation who have strongly asked, urgently asked that the EPA be there because there's a lot more work to do to repair the damage of three million gallons of toxic wastewater that's been dumped onto their sacred lands. I thank you, Mr.